Hello and welcome to another interesting episode. My name is Julie. Today I want to show you my pomegranate tree. The fruits are big. Look at this one. It's big. get this one look at this wow really big you see For the pomegranate, you can either have a shrub that is like 3 feet or you can have a tree that goes up to 10 meters, 20 to 30 feet. So here I have a tree. Look at this. Look at that fruit right up there. So the fruits on this tree, they don't turn completely red. These ones, they just have some pink hue on the skin. And I usually pick them when they are a little bit bigger than the size of a tennis ball. So let me show you the flowers. This is the flower. This tree is drought resistant. You can grow it even in hot areas. That's why it's thriving in this area. And the birds love it. Especially in the evening and in the morning. There are actually so many birds here singing. Look at this. So this is how it starts and it grows to a fruit. Look at this fruit. So mine is a big tree. Look at this. So these fruits won't turn the skin or the rind will not turn red completely but it will just remain green and the seeds inside are sweet I'll show you how to make juice from it some time back when I did a tour of the trees I have here at home I featured this tree and it was dry at that time so we've had some heavy rains and finally now we have some fruits so besides growing this tree for fruits it's a beautiful beautiful ornamental tree that you can either prune or just let it grow look at this it's a beautiful ornamental tree with the scarlet red flowers you can hear the birds <laughs> They love this tree. When I get out of here and once the sun goes down a bit, there will be so many birds on this tree. And these fruits, when you go to the market, they are so expensive. So growing this tree at home, you can get these fruits at an affordable 
surprise all you have to do is to take care of the tree and it's not affected by many pests or diseases I want to show you the many fruits I have so because it's a big tree I'm trying to go <laughs> and show you the fruits see when you see the fruits cracking it's probably due to lack of uh, water though this tree can survive in hot regions but once they start fruiting because we had in uh, heavy rains and the ground soaked up enough water that's our why my fruits have not cracked others when the conditions are dry and you had rains that were not sufficient the fruits will just crack Look at this. So like this, it's also almost close to the size where you can pick them. They won't turn red, they just have a pink hue. See? And it's a beautiful tree to have in your compound. I will do another video featuring some beautiful ornamental trees you can grow at home and you can also enjoy fruit from them so at some points you can find some fruits that look like they are paired two of them at one point others are just you, you will just find one fruit see and it provides good shade so you select a sunny position to plant the this tree this pomegranate tree it will provide good shade so this one you expect fruits after about three years look at this very beautiful tree and it will just look red when the flowers are starting to come out during the fruiting and flowering season after heavy rains it will fruit and flower when it's dry it will shed its leaves and <laughs> look like a skeleton tree but once you start getting fruits you start harvesting fruits for quite some time enjoying its shade so beautifully in the compound lots of fruits look big size fruits so just make sure you give your tree sufficient water Maybe you are familiar with the one that turns completely red. This one will not turn completely red, but it will have some, some reddish hue, pinkish reddish hue. But it will never turn completely red. We will just pick it like this. And make some juice. The pomegranate tree is also called grenadine. And the fruits are used to make the syrup. It's close to this other yellow leander, so I'm trying to <laughs> capture only the pomegranate tree. This is this is a different tree look 
So this is how it starts. Look up there. So to reach up to the foot, all I do is just pull it with my hand. I won't snap the branch, I'll just pull it gently, get the fruit, then it will go back up. So if you look closely, it's red. Let me just take you through the process, how it starts. As a tiny little thing. Gets to this stage. Then it will open up. And finally we'll have some fruits. This is a small one. They will grow big. Look at this. These are the flowers that have dropped to the ground. This is a tiny fruit just starting. Look at this. Yeah, it's raining pomegranates. <laughs> It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, the sun has gone down. Now the birds are having their fun time. They love this tree.